what is going on guys welcome to the video so it is now sunday and it's about 8 30 hawaii time the plan for now is i think we're going to the beach soon might go snorkeling and stuff got my gopro so we're gonna make sure to uh to catch some sea turtles on camera dude it's like hard to uh it's hard to sleep in here just because like sleeping in here is like sleeping until one or two in the afternoon back home in central time so you know, I've been getting up at like 5 or 6, which would be like 10 or 11 at home. And then, of course, we don't go to sleep till like 9 or 10, which is more like 2 or 3, right? 9 plus 5 is 14, so that'd be 2 or 3, yeah. It's about 2 or 3. So we start to get really tired at like, at like 8 or 9 at night here, which is actually like 2 or 3 in the morning back home. Going back home, you're going to be super jet lagged, but that's okay, because it'll be worth it for the now. Still just can't get over this view. Like, look at, look at this strip. Just chilling out there. A little mama and baby ship. It's out in the wild. Going hunting for, for, uh, sea lions. I do plan on working out today. Um, I think we're going out to dinner tonight, so whenever we get back from the beach, if there's time, I might go like, work out then, because that'll be like, that'll probably be early afternoon, go work out, and then I think they want to go into town and look at like the shops that they have in town, which I don't know what that entails. Now, we're going to the beach. Um, by now, I mean soon, but we're getting ready go to the beach and go snorkeling, hang out with the sea turtles and all the little turtle babies, turtlets. You want to enjoy yourself a little bit, but um, at the same time, my goal is to keep my protein up, my carbs and fats down, except for like if we go out to eat or something like that. So, things like egg, whites, eggs, shrimp, 
um, lean meats just to keep the protein intake up while still enjoying myself and getting in some good food. So I can't talk too loud. <clears throat> you gotta be quiet because everyone's sleeping. But um, today we went to the road to Hana. Um, we didn't actually do the full road to Hana for a couple reasons, which I'll explain. What we did do though is we went to one of the first stops on the road to Hana, which if you don't know what the road to Hana is or you've never heard of it, it's this like 50 mile road to a town called Hana. And it's like on the side of a mountain and so you're like constantly going up and it's super windy. So you're like constantly zigzagging around the mountain to get up to um, the city of Hana. Now it's fun, looks good, pretty, whatever. Only problem is it's 50 miles and it's so zigzaggy and there's so much traffic that you can only go 10 or 15 miles an hour. Plus there's stops. And so the whole time along the way, it's extremely time consuming. It takes like an entire day just to get to Hana and getting to Hana isn't all that great. What's great is the stops. There are some pretty cool stops. We did do the road to Hana, the entire thing, six years ago when we came in 2011. Now, we did that with a bigger group and it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool stops, but we didn't want to do the whole thing again. There was just a single stop towards the beginning that we wanted to go to. Now, the reason that it kind of sucks is because from where we're staying, it's an hour drive to get to the start of the road to Hana. And then from there, to get the actual Hana, it's another 50 miles of 10 to 15 miles an hour plus stops. So it turns into an all-day venture. And then once you get to Hana, you have to drive all the way back. Because it's not like you can just go through it. You have to drive back the 50 miles on the windiness. So it, it was fun to do once, but doing it again wouldn't be fun. Just because it's so time-consuming. And... It makes you feel nauseous as heck after like 10 minutes on the road just because you're constantly winding. So that's what we did today. We went on the first stop on that thing and then we came back got some Panda Express. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you my workout for tonight. I'm going to do a commentary over it. Um, I hit quads, calves, and chest. Um, it's about 11 o'clock Hawaii time, so like 4 a.m. Central time. I'm exhausted. But... I'm going to work out tomorrow at some point. I'm hitting back um, hamstrings and glutes. Um, I decided to split up my leg workout. That way I could get a good quad workout. Um, because one of my main focuses for this next bulk is to really bring up my quads. So I'm trying to hit them um, a little bit more than the rest of the muscles in my legs. I was planning on editing this video tonight and uploading it first thing in the morning at 8, which is when I normally post, but it's already 4 a.m. Central Time, and I um, I just don't want to stay up another three hours, four hours to edit, so I'll probably do that sometime tomorrow. I'll probably continue this video tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to record my workout just because I'm about to show you today's workout, and also we're going to Black Rock Beach, which is a beach with a black rock and supposedly actually not supposedly there's great snorkeling there we went there last time we were here and it had super good snorkeling um we saw sea turtles and stuff we saw that sea turtle that i showed you earlier but the water at the first place that we went snorkeling at was a little murky just because i don't know why but it's not going to be as murky it'll be a lot clearer at the next place and also I was having troubles with my GoPro the first, so yesterday, whenever um, we swam with the turtle. But tomorrow, I won't have problems because I can see into the future. I can. So, I'm going to go to bed now. I'm not going to edit tonight, so this isn't going to go tomorrow. I apologize about this, but it will be up 
It's tomorrow Tuesday, so it'll be up Wednesday, July 26th, I believe. Don't quote me. Alright, I'm going to bed. Good night. Alright guys, welcome to the commentary of this workout. So, in this workout, I did chest and quads, and the reason for that is because this was my first time working out since we came to Hawaii, and to be honest, I thought it was a pretty good workout. Um, I really enjoyed the gym. Uh, my only complaint was it was so crowded, but I did like um, the, work ethic, the work ethic of the people in there. There's a lot of hardworking people in there, and so that helped push me to work even harder. So, I um, really liked the environment of that gym. It was a really um, just hardworking, bodybuilding focused gym. And I just really appreciated being around that, and there was a lot of cool people in there. So that first exercise was an incline um, on the hammer strength machine. I did four sets of six to eight, I believe. Um, I think I did, no, five sets, excuse me. I did five sets of six to eight. I think I did more than um, eight reps on, on that set that you saw because the weight was a little bit too light for six to eight, but then I went up after that. So here I'm doing bench press. Um, it looks like I'm not going down very far, but I think it's just the angle because I'm, I'm sure that I touched my chest on every single rep. So that was bench press. Now I did four sets of eight on the bench press. That first set I did 12 though, just to like a uh, kind of warm up, and then I went up and weigh after that. Here I'm doing dumbbell flies. Um, the big thing with these is you know, slow and controlled on the way down. And also, I'm not a fan of touching the dumbbells together because I feel as though it deactivates your chest and then your shoulders take over when you go too far up. So when I got to the top, I came to about shoulder width apart and then I went back down. Here I'm doing a pick deck machine. I absolutely love this machine. I wish the gym that I worked out had one. But um, it's a really good machine for that inner chest. Get a good squeeze going. I also did dips before this, but I couldn't get a good video of me doing dips just because of the work. Uh, there wasn't really anywhere to good to set my camera by the dip machine. So that was all for the chest exercise or the chest workout. I did. Um, I didn't do any like supersets. I did one thing at a time. The main reason for that was because at this gym it was hard to like take more than one quick or one more than one. Um, machine at a time just because there were so many people in there and so I kind of felt bad trying to be that guy that is using half the equipment so here I'm doing leg extensions I really like the angle of this leg extension machine I felt as though it put a lot better emphasis on my quads just because that seat's kind of slanted back to it a little bit um, I did four sets I did um, on the first set I did 30 reps and then I did 25 and then I did 20 and then I did 20 again so this is kind of a warm up for the quad um, exercise, the quad workout, and then um, these are barbell squats with a uh, close grip stance so my feet are just barely not touching. Um, now also, before I show you the rest of this quad workout, I want to say this is a workout from Julian Smith, I'll link his Instagram down below. He's known as the quad guy and this is one of his workouts that he has on his Instagram. Um, give it a shot because my quads today are absolutely burning. Not burning, but they're sore as heck. So um, on these, I did four sets of four. I only did four reps on them. And then I did a 10 second negative and then one second up, which it wasn't exactly 10 seconds just because when you're in the heat of things, it uh, seems to be a lot faster. You know, you have a hard time actually counting the 10. These are Smith Machine front squats. Um, your feet are supposed to be touching on these. And also, I think my feet were a little bit too far forward. But um, this Smith Machine wasn't very good. Like, joints on the way down like weren't very lubricated, so there was a lot of like rubbing, and also they seemed struggling to close that thing. Um, so then after that, I did uh, calf raises. Um, I'm not sure how many I did. I think I did sets of 10. And then the last two things that I did were sissy squats and seated quad contractions. But I didn't get a good video of either because by the time that I got done um, with my workout doing the sissy squats, my, I wasn't able to do the best of reps, so I didn't get a good video of it. But um, that's going to end the 
workout for today. Now I think the plan is to go to a different beach that I was telling you about and go snorkeling. So we'll do that now. So we just got back to the beach a minute ago. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. We got that luau tonight. So I'm going to the gym now. Get some back and hamstrings and glutes. But I'm probably not going to record in there just because it was kind of a hassle to do it yesterday. And also I just filmed my workout for this video already. So um, we're going to that luau tonight. Just got back from the beach, like I said. So I'm probably gonna end the video here. Um, I might put some footage from the luau if they let you film there and if it's worth filming. But we'll see what happens. If that doesn't happen, then this is the end of the video. But if not, here's some footage from the luau. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time.